has an eye on. That's right. Oh, boy, do they. Uh, the West High Vikings are sort of the consensus team to beat this year. And the East High Blades, well, they have to be wondering just what they have to do to win a league game. And this week, the frustration continues against the powerhouse West High Vikings. The Blade defense rising to the occasion, but so does the Vikings defense. This is going to be a hard-hitting game out at West High School. Take a look at the West defense, led by Rico Martinez. Hello. He nails Jason Obi there. And then more hard hits. Eric Fuller is going to just run over Ramondo Howington here. Ouch. <laughs> Fuller doing a job there. Finally, East Roy Duncan is going to haul down Marcus Watkins. Some hard hits here. And yes, the Tomahawk, Tomahawk <laughs> Chop making its way to West High all the way from Fulton County Stadium. How about that? Still no score. Carl Dean pitching to Robbie Harris. Looks like a touchdown, right? Wrong. It's called back. Because of a penalty, no score at the half. And uh, mm. that's surprising. West and East, no scoring in the first half. Third quarter, Carl Dean finally getting some points on the board. So, eh, there he is. He goes in for the touchdown, doing it all himself. Puts the Vikings up 7 to nothing. Vikings looking to do more. Dean, though, intercepted by Paul oh. Pena. Tell you what, the East defense playing a great game against a very tough West High offense. Congratulations and uh, kudos to the Blade defense. But a big mistake here in the fourth quarter. The bad snap on the punt. West gets the ball deep in Blade territory later on. It is Robbie Harris doing the job again. He goes in for the score. The Vikings win 14 to nothing. They remain undefeated. Our guys played well defensively. Obviously, we won the game because of the way our defense played. And, uh, you know, we, we had, like I said, we had some turnovers that hurt us, but I'm proud of the effort that our guys did. They, they came in one homecoming. That's one thing you don't do is lose homecoming. And they did a good job, and you got to give them credit. And, uh, like I said, our defense has played super well. I was really pleased because that's going to make us a good football team if they keep playing like that. And there's your final score from the land of the Vikings. West, 14, east, nothing. It means that uh, west is 2-0 in SYL play in East. Still looking for that first league win in uh, two years. Vikings, six turnovers. That has to be a bit of a concern, although the East High defense, right. uh, can, again, had to take up, uh, sit up and take notice. And Mark Moore did not play, the running back. They, That's why uh, Robbie Harris is getting a lot of the... We'll see how things go with Mark Moore when they get him back in, possibly against North this week, two unbeaten yeah, teams in the SYL. Point.